Today, we'll be talking about discloning, the basics of what, why, and how of it. So, what is discloning? It's basically where you take an existing storage with data and clone an exact copy of it to another drive. Well, the main advantage of cloning a disk is that the cloned disk would be an exact clone or copy of your original drive and data. So for people who want to change storage drives and have installed software such as uh, maybe Adobe Photoshop or a game like GTA 5, you know that copy and pasting just the files as the software hasn't been installed yet won't work. With that also comes the disadvantage of disk cloning. That of course, all the bad data that you had previously, maybe it's like a virus, like a malware, that you didn't really know about, or even like a corrupted file that you have, will also be cloned or copied along together. Cloning a disk is great in situations such as if you're planning on upgrading your current storage, maybe something from like a SATA SSD to an NVMe SSD, or even cloning an old hard drive from an old laptop to a newer SATA SSD, which are quite a common upgrade these days for older laptops. It may also be used to back up your current entire system if you have an extra drive that's lying around that you don't mind using it for a backup. How do we do it? Well, you're going to need to download a software to do it. For today, we'll be using a software called Haslio Disk Clone. Links will be provided at the description below. It's a very simple software to use with clean and straightforward UI. You'll be able to choose to clone either just a partition or the entire disk clone, or even a system clone. If you want to clone a drive with Windows operating system on it, choose the system clone drive option or system clone option. The partition clone allows you to clone just a partition, and disk clones allow you to clone a disk that's without an uh, operating system. After you have chosen the disk you want to clone, you can choose your target disk or storage that you want to clone it to. You'll be able to adjust your partition size of the clone drive by dragging around the allocated size of the partitions. One thing to note is that make sure your new storage drive has enough space for the cloning process. Cloning to a smaller size storage works, but just make sure you have enough space for it. And once that's done, just click proceed and let this software do its magic. And once that's done, you have a cloned drive. Here you can see that we did a cloning of a SATA SSD to a NVMe Gen 4 SSD and the speed differences in Crystal Disk Mark with everything else being virtually identical since it is a cloned drive. So that's all for our video this week on cloning a drive. Did you find this information helpful? If you do, be sure to share it to all your friends and family. Hit like if you like this video and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.